The exciting news is that we are all set to begin our building project. On the 1st of September, builders will enter church and begin to completely transform this place to somewhere that can be used to transform people's lives, to serve the community in a way that's relevant for today. St Mark's, stunning building, built at a time when you needed to have as many seats as possible because it was bursting at the seams. Built to worship God and display his glory with many features just there to show how brilliant God is. St Mark's was built 125 years ago in 1890 and when it was built um, it was probably state of the art. It had a nice organ, central heating and these lovely pews. But what was good then is no longer any use for us and so we've got this vision of a new facility. A facility that um, meets the needs of the community around uh, Newtown. We're going to take all these pews out and, and make a flexible space. We're going to have um, a modern audio-visual system and we're going to have up-to-date facilities that caters for every need. For a long, long time we had a parish hall that enabled us to do stuff with young people, to run a bowling club, to run BB and girls guides. That's now gone. It's been gone a long time and since then we have had many building projects, at least four vicars involved. And we have arrived at a time when God's decided with the right people in place and with the money that we need. This journey's been quite a tedious and long journey and we're now coming to the end of it. Um, we haven't got any space because of, of the past years we've been looking at parish halls, of converting things and eventually we came to the project that will be more economical and can be used for the community as well as our own fellowship. We're making it a church for the people, for all of God's people, to meet the community's needs. We're hoping to be out there putting Christ back in the community, not hiding him away in an old stone building. One of our aims is to open this facility every day. With our new facilities, we'll be able to cater for the needs of the community where people can come and meet. We'll be able to have a coffee shop um, with internet so that people can come and meet on a regular basis. In the new project, there's going to be a prayer room. This has been talked about for years now, and I think it's important that people can either pray on their own and feel comfortable, or that small services can take place in this new room. The psalmist says, Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. His greatness no one can fathom. One generation will commend your works to another. They will tell of your mighty acts. The psalmist imagines an intergenerational community of faith. And that's what we long for here. And so by changing our building, we're creating an environment whereby the mighty acts of God can be passed on to the next generation and a new generation where young and old together can be at the heart of our community of faith, sharing together and helping each other to grow more and more like Jesus. So we've been working on this um, project for many years. I think I've been involved in the committee since 2000, so that's 15 years working away uh, on this project. And at times we've gone off uh, at a tangent, but God's brought us back consistently so that we do his will. And finally, we have a scheme that I believe meets his will and we are ready now to start on this exciting project. It's been a long and a difficult process to get to this point, but it's so exciting that we're beginning work. And by March 2016, this building will be transformed and we'll be in a new and exciting chapter. So let's celebrate this fact. Let's celebrate that we're on an exciting new mission for God and that the building's gonna enable us to do so many things. In September, when the building work begins, we're going to be going back to school, back to St Mark's School, where it all began as a parish. And so, we're going to be meeting there, as usual on Sundays, two services, 9.15 and 11 o'clock. And I'm anticipating that whilst we're there, we'll continue to grow. Grow to become more and more like Jesus, grow in our love for each other, and also grow in number as more and more people encounter what it means to have a relationship with God.